best away In the night when the light's out Let's go away mm. To an island far away You and I, we will live here together You and me, my forever Ay ay, ay ay, ay ay, yeah Plenty fish and banana I will be your my Anna Ay ay, ay ay, ay ay Nothing but I love Nothing but I love Nothing but a smile on your face Cause we know say Nothing but I love Nothing but I love Nothing but the love when we give Cause we know say Hi there Where do I even start from? Honestly, it has been one hell of a day It has been chaotic But it has also been interesting and i just realized that i haven't even recorded a proper intro for this video so where am i and what am i doing well from the title you obviously know where i am i'm in the uk and what am i doing here i'm here for my graduation ceremony from ucl which was postponed from 2020 due to covid and we're finally going to have our in-person um graduation ceremony so i'm here with my family my parents and my brother so it's really like a family vacation and if I'm being honest, I'm not even excited about the graduation ceremony because it's really been two years, you know, like been there, done that. I've even done the, I did a small celebration in my house on the actual day of my graduation. So this is just like, I'm not even interested anymore. I'm just excited for the trip. And this was just an, an excuse to travel, to be very honest with you. So I'm excited to be here because it's been a very long time since I've gone on a vacation, since I've traveled at all, like throughout the like since i went home in 2020 since the pandemic started i haven't gone on a vacation so i'm super excited for this i'm super excited to be here and um i will keep you updated on what i get up to i think the first thing i'm going to do is give you a tour of the apartment we're staying in we're not in london exactly even though the title might say london but we're not in london exactly we're in essex which is um relatively close to london and um, we got this place on booking.com so we booked the apartment and i'll just give you a little tour of it it's a really nice apartment i'm really happy that we got this place and it's just going to be really nice to just stay here and chill catch up with some of my friends uh, from uni and from a levels and you know see my cousins my family here in the uk and attend the graduation ceremony so this is the living room which is really big and nice uh, so you've got your tv you got the mirror you have these really comfortable sofas and that leads to the balcony but i want to show you the balcony through the kitchen so from here this is the kitchen which is really big and spacious i really like it just ignore all of this mess okay we just bought stuff and we haven't really had time to organize it so all of this stuff came with the apartment this cooking utensils cleaning materials there's a dishwasher here and um there are plates and cutlery inside already we didn't get those it was already here with the apartment this is just um i think the radiator what else is in there just some some household materials you've got your sink um you have the fridge which we have stuffed already i don't really need to open this it's just a regular fridge but this i really like this is like um a dispenser option we haven't figured out how to use the water side but when you click the crushed or cubed option it comes out so the ice comes out automatically which i really really like uh what else is there to show this is the dining area which I really like. And we have a TV here with Netflix. It's a smart TV, so you can watch Netflix. There's already a Netflix account here, so you don't sign into yours. Um, that is a mirror right there. And then this part, which I really like, is the balcony. It's like a garden. I just turned on the light. Let me just show you what it's like. Ooh, it's really cold here. Okay, so this is the balcony and this is what it looks like 
there's also a swing set which you might not see yeah that's basically it it's a swing set which is really nice you know it's a really nice area there's also some other stuff there but i'm really cold so i don't really want to go there right now but yeah that's basically it's about downstairs you know it's a really like nice um holiday rental you can just come here to you know chill and stuff i really really like it so let me just take you upstairs now and show you what it looks like uh oh wait before we go upstairs so this is the toilet and there's a shower here i think the one upstairs is different it's a bathtub but this is a shower and that's me there so let me take you upstairs now let's go let's go let's go so so basically when you get upstairs this is one room just pretty basic sorry i'm not, I'm not really getting the angles right but it's just a basic room it has some basic facilities you have um a line for your hangers you've got a bed then this is like the master bedroom it's got a tv it's got a wardrobe a nice bed what is in here probably a wardrobe yeah and that's pretty much it for this room and then you come in here you've got the third room oh where's the light switch here yeah oh well, this room is kind of big i like it you've got your wardrobe and yeah so that's basically it and then you have your bathroom your second bathroom and toilet hi good morning so um today we're going to a shopping center which i will show you very soon it's a nice day today it's not really that cold not that hot but obviously i'm going to put my jacket on when we go out and i'm going to try to get a graduation dress and just a couple of things that i need uh i don't know what shopping center we're going to probably like lakeside shopping center because it's really close to this place but i will let you know when i am there back from the shopping center and it was a bit of a chaos to be honest because it took a lot longer for us to get there than we were planning and my dad already had people coming over so by the time we got there it was almost time for them to get here do you understand so we just we couldn't really do as much shopping as we wanted to i think just my dad and my brother bought, bought a few shirts but me i like to really take my time when i'm shopping try everything on and decide so i was just like you know what i'll come back another day so we just did a little shopping but we're going to do the main shopping maybe tomorrow or next but now i just got back home i've eaten and um my dad's friends are going to take us out so we're about to leave again i don't know where we're going to go to but i'll let you know when i am there so see you in a bit Cause if I force it, the outcome will be gone. Like the flag bow. Hi, hey God. I'm out of bars. I'm out of bars. I'm out of bars. <laughs> Get me. Mad. <laughs> We 
are back now i really really wish i hadn't eaten at home before going to that restaurant because obviously i didn't know we we're going out i thought we we're just done for the day if i had known i wouldn't have eaten at home because i couldn't really eat much at the restaurant i was so full but it was still nice to have something um i'm just really tired now so i'm just gonna sleep and then tomorrow we're going to continue our shopping and i will bring you along with me see you tomorrow <laughs> This girl over here wants me to take her pictures. I don't know what's going on. So, where are we going? Alright, we're going to the Lakeside Mool. And that is the Lakeside Shopping Center. The Lakeside Shopping Center. A shopping center is equivalent to a mool. <laughs> <laughs> sorry if the sound is a bit off but it's been a really really long day i'm so tired um i couldn't get everything that i wanted to but i got my graduation outfit so that's obviously great um i'm gonna go back tomorrow and see if i can get some stuff as well but for now this is it for me today thank you so much for watching and i will see you tomorrow Good morning. It is a nice sunny day today. It's still kind of cold, but I like the fact that the sun is out. I am going for brunch with my friend, and we're going to meet up in central London. So I'm going to have a bit of a commute this morning, but I'm just on my way to top of my Oyster card now. So I will see you when I am there.
literally waiting for my bus now um it has been a long day i don't even know like how to explain everything that happened after i met up with my friend i stayed in central london to do, to do like a couple of stuff and i came back home then my brother and i went out to shop again and we're just waiting for our bus now um tomorrow is my graduation so when i get home i'm probably just gonna have a hot drink and sleep because i have to wake up super early tomorrow so yeah that's it for today i will see you when uh well not when i get home i will see you tomorrow good morning so i'm on my way to the graduation venue now i'm in my ride i ordered the ride on board and trying to book it was an actual struggle because i forgot that they don't accept cash on boats in this country so if i remembered i would have just paid the money into my uk account yesterday but thankfully they accepted the nigerian card so that's why i used to book the ride i'm a bit late i was supposed to get there by 7 50 but now i'm going to get there by like 8 something but it's actually fine because the graduation doesn't start until 10 o'clock so i've got a lot of time and i don't think it will be a problem if i get there um by eight something as long as i'm there at least one hour before the graduation starts so um i don't know if i'm excited yet maybe when i get there i'll be excited but now i just want to get there on time and make sure that i'm let into the hall leaving the moment tomorrow belongs to god Nothing can break me, nothing can bend me, nothing can bring me down May love what you hate, we all deserve a chance La 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 I don't go where no love where my home go Caraibo, down so Just to chill, I live a life that's so real Every time I cool my temper, somebody wanna enter, it's not so serious Yeah, you know I try to forget, get a hold of my head I live a life so free, yeah I don't know if I need it up, but I know I'ma take it up Check yourself, you can have it all, love, vanity, you can have it all I don't see different kind of love so I know if it's real enough. Yeah, 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 yeah. Why not? I don't know where no love, where my home. Caraibo, down so it long, long way. You know what it is? It's your boy. Look at that eyes. Come on. super 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 long day i have been up since 5 a.m and it is 11 14 now it's going to be midnight in less than an hour i'm so exhausted honestly today was just long but it was super interesting i really enjoyed it and i'm really glad that i had this experience um 
just like I thought, even though I wasn't really excited um, at the beginning, but the day really picked up and I'm very happy that I had this celebration. I'm very grateful for the experience, you know, getting that in-person graduation ceremony is actually very, um, the feeling is different, definitely different. Even though I know I've had my degree like for two years now, but having that physical celebration, it's a very nice experience. So I'm very thankful that I had it. Um, I know you'll see that I changed my outfit. I genuinely was not planning to do that. I was just going to wear the same thing, but I had a wardrobe malfunction with the jumpsuit I was wearing earlier for the graduation. The zip just like broke completely. So it, I couldn't even, it couldn't even be salvaged. So I was just like, you know what? I'm just going to wear another dress. So I wore the dress that I bought from Nigeria, which I was going to wear initially. You know, I did a little shopping when I got here and decided to buy a new graduation outfit. So the dress I initially brought with me from Nigeria is what I wore for the dinner. And it turned out well, actually. I will still continue my London adventures tomorrow and I will see you tomorrow. Good evening or good afternoon. I usually start this vlog by saying good morning, but it is currently 4.30, give or take, and um, I'm on my way to meet up with my friends from UCL in central London. I'm a little bit annoyed because it looks like I've just missed my bus. Like I was checking the time that it was supposed to depart and it was on time, right? I was getting ready to go. And then just as, as, I, was, as I was about to leave, they were like departed early. So like it literally left earlier than scheduled. I'm like, are you even kidding me right now? So annoying. So I'm gonna have to wait for the next one, which means I might be slightly late, but I won't be too late. So I'm just gonna have to inform them that I'll be slightly late, but yeah, I'm excited to go. We're going to a restaurant. We're just going to eat and catch up and it should be fun. So I will see you when I'm there. up now uh, I'm so cold uh, I'm waiting for my boss this boss is so irregular like uh, I just checked the time and it's not gonna get here until like 30 minutes because I missed the previous one because obviously I was still on the train I just got off the train now and the next bus is not coming until like 30 minutes time so it's crazy man I have to wait out here in the cold and there are no seats and I also need to use the restroom <laughs> and I don't think I can wait 30 minutes so I'm just trying to walk around to see if there's any store that's open that has a restroom so that I can use it because <sighs> this is not even fun but anyway I will see you all tomorrow today was really really fun I'm glad that I got to see my friends and yeah I'll show you what I get up to tomorrow bye Um, I am going to meet up with my friends today, my friends from A-Levels, and I'm annoyed this bus. Honestly, this place is just annoying me right now because the bus here is just not regular at all. I checked my map and it told me the bus is leaving by 426. I was here by 426, checking my time. This bus never came. After a few minutes, I checked the map again and it said bus departed at 4 26 i'm like are you even joking right now because i was here and the bus never came so i literally don't even know when to expect the next one i'm just here waiting anyway i am going to meet up with my friends in an italian restaurant and then from there we're going to a cinema so it should be a fun day i just hope this bus comes ah, the bus is here bye <laughs> see you soon
you guys where do i even start from like i don't even know where to start from honestly the last time i was here i think it was on day seven or something when i went out for dinner with my friends and if you notice i didn't even do an outro vlog that day because i was so tired and burnt out i felt like i really tired myself out because i was just doing things back to back to back you know i didn't have any one day to rest and i also felt like i didn't have a choice because the holiday was just eight days and i was trying to pack in as much as i could in those eight days so that was like day seven was it day seven or day eight i think it was day seven anyway that was a friday so when i got home i got home around like midnight or something i just slept like i was too tired to record anything the next day was a saturday which i really would have enjoyed using to rest but i couldn't because i hadn't seen my aunt and some of my cousins since i got there and we're leaving on sunday the next day so if i didn't go on that saturday i wouldn't have seen them at all so i was like even though i was tired i still had to go there and the thing is her house is like really far away so i had to take like a journey it's like traveling again but i had to do it because otherwise i won't have seen them so what, what we did was my brother and i we decided to go to an arcade first um to play some games uh he obviously won in all of them because i'm not a gamer how did i get four like this game is fake it's fake whatever but i still had fun you know uh we played the games to just relax our nerves relax our brains before the long journey ahead so after we played games in the arcade um we bought our train tickets and started our journey went to london bridge from london bridge we took um a bus to go to my aunt's house it's some mad jollof i was too hungry to even remember to record it man i just ate at it and i was so happy i saw my little cousins you know it was a nice time and then we started the journey back so that was saturday done the next day was sunday we're leaving listen listen every single thing worked against us that sunday everything tried to prevent us and they tried and succeeded actually in preventing us from coming back to nigeria so the first thing was the driver being late listen our flight was by 10 30 p.m but we're supposed to check out you know we're in like a rented apartment we're supposed to check out by like 11 a.m but we asked the guy to extend the time so he said okay fine you can check out by 5 p.m because our flight was by 10 30 p.m so we told the taxi driver come here by 4 30. this man by five o'clock he started calling we're like okay at least he's here well guess what he asked can you send the postcode to me like we're like i don't understand like you've not left your house or what is it now that you're asking for the postcode we shall sent it and he came by 5 30 we're like okay 5 30 our flight is on to 10 30 we still have a lot a lot of time and the place was like an hour's drive to the airport so okay we still had a lot of time it's fine but the first sign was the driver being late that should have been our first sign that um we're not using this guy but we still had faith so we went and then the second sign was the driver missing his way listen i don't understand you're going somewhere you don't know and then you're not using your map you're not using your sat nav what i how do you expect to find the way he missed the turn he now had to stop the car and ask someone there were some traffic officers there he asked them came back okay at least we know the way now let's be going the guy tried to start the car the car did not start <laughs> that's the third thing that happened the car did not start so the guy went down he's, he asked the traffic offi officers in front of us if he could if they could help start the car so they used like a booster or something um, as they used that thing the guy tried to start the car guess what happened smoke came out like something was burning or something that's when we realized listen we are not going with this guy because we're, we're going to end up missing our flights and like nothing can be done at this point so basically we are stuck on the road right now like <laughs> this is actually crazy so my dad told me to book a ride on boat i tried to use boat it did not work that was the fourth thing that happened what was the problem i think you know nigerian banks this nigeria is so annoying honestly nigerian banks have this like international limit um, when you're using your card abroad so apparently we had exceeded that so none of our cards were working and my uk accounts obviously i was living there and i don't use my uk accounts in nigeria so there was even no money in it like i had paid some money into the account previously if you had seen in one of the previous days i paid some money into the account but we had been using it there and even before i left I, I like withdrew some money because it's in nigeria i'm going to be using the money i don't need money in that account so we couldn't use my uk card we couldn't use our nigerian cards to say ha what are we going to do so we're like okay let's call a taxi i saw a sign i didn't even know where we were but i saw a sign that said queen elizabeth bridge so i googled taxis around queen elizabeth bridge called the first number there the guy came in like 20 minutes say thank god finally finally we're going to the airport about 30 minutes in 
we started looking for my dad's laptop bag that was the fifth thing was it the fifth thing that happened yeah the fifth thing that happened we started looking for my dad's laptop bag and it's not just my dad's laptop that was in the bag guess what else was in the bag my passports and my dad's passports we're like how is this even happening like so many things are going wrong on this trip anyway the taxi driver suggested that we can call another taxi to go there and meet us with the passports at the airport because what happened was that we left the key to the door in like how do i call it? is it like a drop box or a safe or something right next to the door so we told the driver the code to get the key he got the key he went and got the passport yay finally he met us we're like okay at least we are going we still had some time to spare we would not have missed the flight i wanted to now enter the line to go and check in guess what they asked us where's your covid test we're like i don't understand that was the sixth thing that happened we're like we came into the uk we did not do covid tests because we are vaccinated so why are you asking us for covid tests now they're like the rules are different in nigeria so to enter nigeria you need to do a covid test and so we obviously did not know that and it was almost time for the flight there's no way we could have done the test and gotten our results and entered the flight that day so that's when we realized listen we are not taking this flight like there's no need there's no magic that's going to happen for us to take this flight so what's the next thing book the covid test get a hotel change the flight ticket to tomorrow so we booked our covid test unfortunately they were closed for the day so we booked it for the next day went to a hotel called the agent please we'll change the flight ticket to tomorrow the agents called one ridiculous amount that is required to change the tickets but we literally did not have any other choice so my dad sent the money we we're like okay tomorrow we do everything and we leave the next day we got to the airport so oh, yeah we're here for our covid test they're like where are you going say nigeria you say you booked the wrong test so you can't use that test to enter nigeria that's the seventh seventh thing that happened i'm like i don't understand because when we got there the, the day before the lady told us scan this qr code and book your test i scanned the code it took me to the test it didn't even ask you what test do you want i where are you flying to you just once you scan the qr code this is that test so they were like that's not the right test so you have to book another test but thankfully um we we're able to cancel the one that we booked before and we got a voucher so we didn't have to pay twice like the money from that first one we used it to offset the cost of the second test we booked it, it was so expensive but of course we don't have a choice we booked it um so we're like let's go back to the hotel now wait for our test results then we enter the flight this evening and that's when we're like wait we've not even seen our tickets from this agent what's happening call the agent the agent said omo at the time you sent that money yesterday i had slept off i'm trying to change this now if you want to fly today you have to pay an additional money like i'm not even going to call the amount because it's ridiculous after already paying that high amount of money they're still saying pay an additional amount if you want to fly today but if you're willing to wait till tomorrow then that initial amount that you sent we can use it to change the ticket so we're like oh my, we're not paying anything again please just do the one for tomorrow that's how we went back to the hotel and she finally sent us the flight ticket our test results came out negative we're like okay we have everything now it's just to chill and enjoy until we're ready to leave so that's when we started chilling and having fun you know we're eating ice cream eating food enjoying our lives went for a buffet like can't come and kill ourselves at some point my brother and i were so happy we we're just dancing you know we're just like we can't come and kill ourselves we've done the best that we can and everything is settled now so that's basically the chaotic journey to nigeria we finally got there was it on on a tuesday so we're supposed to leave on a sunday but we eventually left on a tuesday finally went to the airport we're hoping that let them not say something else has gone wrong again thankfully nothing went wrong we boarded the flights left london and came to abuja so yeah that's it i'm finally back i'm finally here thankful for the trip not thankful for the stress to come back but yeah thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this i think this has been my favorite vlog so far i really enjoyed making the video i enjoyed editing and thank you for watching share this video with someone subscribe like comment see you in my next video bye